experience primarily in the Deep South, as people know about the Delta Blues, and it is rooted in African slave songs from the fields, work in the fields. That's the beginnings of it. In the fields, to pass the day, the lead hand would often just sing out a phrase. They'd make it up on the spot. It's improvisational music. So he would sing, or she would sing, oh, it's hot out here today. And then the field hands would repeat that stanza and say, oh, it is hot out here today. And then the lead hand would say, oh, it's hot out here today. And then the other field hands would say, oh, it's all hot out here today. And in, uh, during those first two stanza, the lead hand could then figure out a tagline. The tagline was always different. It said, and here we are just working and working our way. And here we are just working working away. And they do this for hours to pass the time. Just seeing this, what they call call and response. Call and response. Lead hand calls, we respond. At the turn of the century, after slavery in America, that music went in two directions. But it was the same music. It went into gospel music, what we call gospel music, which is musical of the church, and it went into the blues, which is the music of the secular music of the community. It was also known as the devil's music. <laughs> <laughs> and it is what I like to play. <laughs> it's a great history, and just a little bit of connection with today's music. The blues artists, in, in, when they started recording, and say, hey, we can make a career out of this. People are interested in this music tradition. So they'd catch the train out of Deep South, and they'd stop. Their first stop was a place called Memphis, Memphis, Tennessee. And Memphis became the home of the blues, down on a place called Beale Street. If you ever go to Memphis, go to Beale Street. You have to see it. It's just a great, great snapshot of American musical culture. <clears throat> but then as they would travel throughout the country, a lot of times up the Mississippi, they would travel and they would all develop their own kind of slant on the blues. So you had kind of deep south blues in Memphis, in New York, I mean, I was, up in Chicago, it got electrified and kind of this raw, gritty blues. St. Louis, it became a swing blues. New York even picked up on it, infused it with jazz blues, kind of Billie Holiday stuff. So blues became this rich American musical experience. But what happened at the same time the blues came into Memphis, mountain music from Tennessee, Kentucky, and Virginia came over and it landed in Memphis. So now you got this culture of deep south blues, Appalachian hillbilly music coming into <laughs> Memphis, and it gets pushed together and fused together, and there you have rock and roll and rhythm and blues. Um, and that's the story, and now we still have it. And most of American music is rooted in the blues. You can hear it mm -hmm. if you listen to it. Mm -hmm. um, yep. So, we're going to play some of that deep south blues. That blues like, oh, my wife's run away, my dog's dead, I'm drinking whiskey, life is hard. And then I'll play some kind of swing blues. They started to swing it up a little bit. And then we're going to play some what we call Piedmont blues. Just a little bit about Piedmont blues. It was blues that started here, just north of Charlottesville. So voice of African American music and rural community, just north, about 30 miles north of here. And it ran all the way down to North Georgia. And it was on the eastern side of the Blue Ridge and Appalachian Mountains, which is known as the Piedmont region. So the blues became known as Piedmont blues or country <coughs> blues. And it was different than Delta blues because Bluegrass music and hillbilly music and African American music got fused there, but it became much more kind of a poppier bluegrass based blues. Uh, and you'll hear it's almost like ragtime. So, <clears throat> got the same songs, you know, oh, my wife ran away, my dog's dead, I'm feeling drinking with you, but I'm feeling fine. <laughs> but Piedmont Blues made you feel good about feeling bad. <laughs> you know, because it was peppy. They danced to it and they juke joints and farmhouses and communities. So we'll give you a little bit of that start and uh, give you that representation. Then we'll let the harmonica spirits take me wherever they take me, and you'll be out of here by 9.30. <laughs> <laughs>
been here at FDI and I don't know what to do. So here I sit with the FDI blues. <laughs> Oh, my God.